Welcome back to another mock. Welcome back to another walk and talk with your host Crypto Father. And today's morning news, I've got a juicy one for you. Uh, I'm gonna shoot it all in one go. I might clip something, some redundancy, redundancy from here, one or two, uh, just to save myself some some of the post processing because it's getting too much. Uh, I keep complaining about that all the time. You might think, hey, why don't you just stop making those videos? Yeah, I guess I could, but they're fun. Okay, so the juicy part. Uh, do you remember a few years back, um, there was a story of a guy uh, serving peanuts to a woman on Korea's airline. Uh, and he was serving, he served the peanuts in a bag rather than on a dish. Uh, and it turned out that the uh, the passenger was the daughter of the... Air, Korean Air Airlines owner and sh the guy who served <laughs> this is so ridiculous the guy who served her the nuts um, in a bag rather than on a gold plate was made to kneel down to her and apologize he was thrown off the airplane um, and and then uh, consecutively he was demoted um, for speaking out to the media about the incident Wow, I know, yeah, talking about uh, sense of privilege here, yeah? Well, the court assigned uh, just recently, so this was in 2014, now it's 2018, nearing 2019, and the court uh, um, uh, decided that Korea Airlines should pay the men $18,000 retributions for physical and mental anguish that he was caused. Um, I believe he does get to keep his job, but he is at a demoted uh, position, whatever that is. I don't know how, I guess there, there may, must be like, so I guess he was demoted. I don't know. He probably still works on the airplane. I didn't finish reading the article because <laughs> the beginning sounded interesting already. <clears throat> um, but he's not at, uh, uh, the, he lost his seniority, I guess, in his position, which probably means also that he'll, you know, had to take a pay cut. And it isn't funny, $18,000, that was his pay. Um, you know, demand, demanding money for something like that is ridiculous to begin with, I guess. But uh, why not? I mean, this is probably like one-way ticket for her in first class to wherever the heck she was going. That's the equivalent of it. That's what they paid him. That's what he gets. Uh, it's good to be rich and feel like you can order people to do anything and tell them to drop on their knees and beg forgiveness because you gave them peanuts in a bag rather than on a silver plate. These are kids that are <clears throat> spoon-fed. It's a similar similar occurrence as the kid in the States who, um, I don't know, I heard a story. He was driving a car under the influence of alcohol. He was like a teenager, I don't know, maybe 19, 20 year old or something. And he was driving under the influence of alcohol. And um, I don't know if he ran somebody over. He did something that caused the cops to book him in. And then he went to court. And basically he was released under a new explanation of rich kids don't have the experience of normal life. Therefore, he cannot be held responsible for his actions because he didn't know any better because he didn't grow up like that. Yeah, so this is a similar circumstance. Uh, her coming from a very rich background, I guess she didn't know any better how to treat people properly with respect and uh, a bit dignity. She made the guy kneel down for serving her fucking peanuts in a bag rather than on a plate. So I think if she was flying first class, this woman, um, and if there is a requirement for first class passengers to be served peanuts on a plate, then he should have served her peanuts on a plate. But I think if she is a boss and he is an employee, then she should have reminded him and she would have been respected for that. Instead, she's trash. You're trash. A Korean heir, owner's daughter, trash. That's it for today's news.
I hope you enjoyed that little piece of information. Uh, come back tomorrow for more. I'm your host, Crypto Father. Please like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. little corrective update uh, the nuts that were served were not nuts not peanuts they were macadamia nuts uh, it really doesn't make a difference uh, but uh, that's it um, the woman was uh, the case was taken to trial and she served five months in prison as a result I'm not sure what the conditions of the prison cell were I guess you know it's, it's a minor um, uh, demeanor so it probably wasn't too severe her younger sister um, threw water at somebody's face in a meeting um, and as a result both of these women no longer work for the company which means they have to find some other source of income they probably work as secretaries in the same freaking you know thing it's so in Korea the, most of the companies are run by families uh, Samsung Hyundai uh, they're called Chebol for those who are in the not know-how not in the know-how um, most big big businesses in South Korea are run by very few companies, uh, which is why nonsense like that happens. <music> Clarify, the reason why she spent five months in prison was not because she made the guy kneel down. The reason for that was because she made the airplane stop, return to, to the airport and made the guy be kicked off the airplane, which the court decided was... Uh, uh, was in in violation of the I guess the airport protocol and uh, it was an endangerment to the safety of the passengers that's why she served five months in prison <laughs>